yummy. Go ahead, eat it. Welcome back to Chopper Test Kitchen. Um, this is episode number three. Um, felt like keeping with the now boarding travel um, experience this time, so I'm recording from a very tiny, very tiny hotel room um, somewhere. Um, anyway, let's get into it. The uh, listeners of now boarding for this episode had a choice between uh, lobster roll, um, fish tacos, gumbo, couscous, and poutine. Um, so let's see what you guys picked. And the winner, uh, gumbo. I think all the listeners made the right choice there out of those five. Um, I love gumbo. I love New Orleans. Um, I just couldn't really wait to film this episode. Um, we actually had a large taste testing, uh, judging panel, whatever you want to call it, um, at the request of Jimmy. So Jimmy, there you go. Um, uh, don't really have anything else to say, but, uh, let's get into it. So our gumbo is going to start with what is called the Holy Trinity, celery, onion, and bell pepper. So what we want to do is just give these all a good dice and then set them aside because we want everything chopped up and ready to go for when we're making our roux. And there it is, one trinity, ready to go. So to add a little more southern flair to this, I also want to put in some okra. We've got about a half a pound here. I'm just going to cut off the tops tops and tails and uh, slice these guys up and set them aside. And the last thing that we need, of course, is garlic. I've got six pretty big cloves here. You can mince these, press them, but I just learned a new trick that I haven't actually tried yet. So let's see if this actually works. Take your garlic, put it down on your cutting board and smash. Instantly minced garlic. I'm really surprised at how well that actually works. So I'm gonna de-stress on a few more of these guys and then we'll set them aside. So the next component of our gumbo is gonna be the stock. Uh, you can use a regular store-bought chicken stock if you want. The gumbo that we're gonna be making today is shrimp and sausage. Um, so we've got the shrimp here. We might as well make our own shrimp stock. So you can see I started peeling a few of these. I'm going to peel the rest of them. Um, we've got 21, 25 shrimp here, uh, about a pound. So what that means is there's going to be 21 to 25 in a pound. Um, so once we get all the shells and legs from these, we're going to throw these in a pot with a little bit of oil and start cooking them until... It fills my apartment with a nice stinky shrimp flavor. Um, once we're, shrimp flavor, shrimp smell. Uh, once we've got that smell going, we're gonna add about five cups of water. Let that simmer for about 20 minutes and then strain out the shells and you're left with a nice homemade shrimp stock. And a quick public service announcement brought to you by Chopper Test Kitchen. We're about to make a roux which is, I think, scientifically the hottest thing on like the surface of the planet. Um, this is super hot oil and flour, and we're gonna be stirring it for a very long time. Um, it will burn you so fast. It has burned me. Um, just please be careful. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say, just respect your roux. And now here's our roux. We need a half a cup of grapeseed oil, smoking hot, half a cup of flour, and we're going to mix and mix and mix and keep mixing until we get a nice chocolatey dark brown. And now we're going to add in our diced holy trinity and sweat those out before adding in eight ounces of amber beer, bringing that to a simmer before adding in our sliced okra and then very slowly at first drizzling in our shrimp stock so we don't break the roux. There 
very slowly and then we can dump the whole thing in followed by a big pinch of salt a lot of black pepper and bring it back up to a simmer then we'll add one tablespoon smoked paprika one teaspoon cayenne pepper bring that to a simmer before remembering that you forgot to add the garlic so saute that in a pan and add it in Bring it back to a simmer before adding in one pound of cooked andouille sausage and simmering for about three hours. And then we'll add in our shrimp about five minutes before we're ready to serve. Am I allowed? Yeah. Plate the whole thing over some white rice and then garnish with some chopped green onion. Okay, so here we are, our judging panel. We have. 2G from Oscar Mike. Thank you. It's good to see you The newest again. addition to Now Boarding Network. Look for his show coming soon. Lindsay, former camera woman. <laughs> We've got Kristen and Aaron. Here's the dish. Shrimp and sausage gumbo. So let's dig in. That's really good. Mm. Full zone scarfing. I watch. Uh, uh, Very uh, good. People on this channel know me as Chopper. Well done, Chopper. Thank you. I like to say that I'm surprised. However, I'm not. I'll get a five because I don't cook, and I think you did a great job, and it's delicious. Aaron? You know what? If you don't say five, you can I'll leave I'll give it right a five now. out of five as well. Thank you. Four and a half. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right, next. I was expecting chicken. I'm disappointed, let down. I promised the Godfather that's of, Jimmy, Jimmy of, of now, now boarding. Of the now boarding travel enterprise, that I would drop the hammer when needed. I can't drop. We want total honesty. I can't drop it's the hammer. However, <laughs> I want the next Chopper Test Kitchen episode really to really, really, really kill it. So I'm going to say four, just it's so, a, yeah. just so. I, if it's already perfect, what do I have to aim for? Exactly. exactly. Presentation, <laughs> phenomenal. I've never gone out and eaten gumbo at like a restaurant. I was stationed in the South, so I have had some homemade Southern cuisine, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go four out of five. Good. So there you have it. Like Jimmy requested, we had a actual panel of judges this time. Uh, gumbo turned out great. I can't wait to eat mine. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you to all of our judges. Um, to 2G, look for Oscar Mike coming out soon. Uh, Lindsay, Kristen, Aaron, we have Steve behind the scenes making sure the kids don't run around. So um, he's the real underappreciated star of this episode. Um, again, Thank you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have anything that you want us to consider making for future episodes. Um, if you want to learn more about the show or about Now Boarding, links are in the description. And again, thank you. We'll see you next time. Is it good? You like it? A thumbs up? Say thanks, Uncle Farfi. Look, no. look at him. <laughs> look at him, Uncle Farfi. Thank you, Uncle Farfi. You're welcome. <laughs>